and the Cougars finished the season with an amazing 32 and 5 record and an appearance in the Sweet 16. True Blues Robbie Bola was with the team every step of the way. BYU began the 2010-2011 college basketball season ranked 24th in the Associated Press preseason poll. The first time the Cougars had been ranked in the preseason since Danny Ainge's senior season in 1980-81. By season's end, that would be one of a myriad of milestones that BYU achieved since that spectacular season 30 years ago. Preseason All-American Jimmer Fredette entered his senior season in 11th place on BYU's career scoring list. Danny Ainge's record appeared untouchable. It would take Fredette 43 games to break the record at his 22.1 points per game that he averaged his junior year. The Cougars opened the season winning their first 10 games, including a win over Vermont in Fredette's hometown of Glens Falls, New York, and destroying Arizona at the Energy Solutions Arena in Salt Lake. Fredette had a school record 49 points in Tucson last year, and followed that up with a 33-point performance this season against a team that advanced to the Elite Eight. UCLA handed BYU its first loss one week later, but the Cougars rebounded with another 10-game win streak via Jimmer Mania. Jimmer scored 40-plus points in three of four games, scorching Utah for 47 in Salt Lake and embarrassing San Diego State with 43 in the first top 10 matchup in the history of the Marriott Center. Ainge's record appeared almost in reach. It's all over. The fans rush the court. The Cougars knock off the number four team in the country. Following the euphoric win over the Aztecs, BYU had its 10-game win streak snapped again this time at the hands of New Mexico, but the Cougars bounced back yet again. Over the next seven games, Fredette continued to rewrite the record books. The Cougars knocked off San Diego State again in a nationally anticipated rematch, vaulting them to number three in the polls, the highest ranked BYU team since a 1988 squad that was ranked number two. The Cougars quell the madhouse on Montezuma Mesa, the biggest regular season win in BYU basketball history. New Mexico again humbled a BYU team coming off an emotional win over San Diego State. The Cougars were without Brandon Davies, the second post player lost for the season after Chris Collinsworth went out with a knee injury a few weeks earlier. The dream season continued, however, with a win over Wyoming on Senior Day in front of the seventh consecutive sellout at the Marriott Center. BYU entered the Mountain West Conference Tournament as the number one seed. In a quarterfinal win over TCU, Jimmer broke the single season scoring record previously held by Devin Durant. Then the Cougars avenged their two conference losses, defeating New Mexico in the semifinals behind another record performance by Jimmer Fredette. Fredette's 52 points broke many records, including his own single game scoring record and Danny Ainge's BYU career scoring record. Jimmer stops middle of the lane, puts it up, and he gets it to go! He gets it to go! The record setter, the legend, Jimmer Fernandez! BYU lost to San Diego State in the championship game, but still earned a three seed on Selection Sunday, tied with the 1980 team for the best NCAA tournament seed in school history. BYU advanced at the NCAA tournament in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time ever and became the first team to go to the Sweet 16 since that Danny Ainge led team 30 years ago. And Jimmer Fredette continued to break records left and right. The record breaking run came to an end in an overtime loss to Florida, but this was a season that will never be forgotten. With 32 wins, a run to the Sweet 16 and the National Player of the Year, the 2010-2011 BYU Cougars will be remembered as the greatest team in school history until the next Jimmer comes around.